All right, guys, I just caught a nice warmouth on a Bandit 200. There's some nice warmouth in here. William was right. That's a decent one. Hit a crankbait. <laughs> guys, they're, they're in, that, in that tree with the thin branches. As soon as I pulled it down, he was already on there. That's a nice warmouth here, guys. Biggest one I've caught in two years. Got him on the black and white Bandit 200. I'm gonna have to get the pliers out, apparently. Get him off, I guess. Just keep him out. So that's a really nice surprise. I thought it was just a tiny bass or something. That's a keeper sized warm mouth. He's a seven incher. Maybe even almost eight. It's a nice one. Ever since I got the church lake taken away from me, there's really no good place that I know of. It's a nice warm mouth, guys. I've been wanting one of these this year, so I finally got one. I've been wanting one of these on a rock bass, and the rivers are too flooded for rock bass right now. We had a slow first hour. They have not been hitting crankbaits or spinnerbaits. At least the bass ain't. This guy cooperated though. They're always in the plant. They're always in the vegetation. It's a decent, cool-looking little guy right there. Love warmouth. Love those things. That ain't bad. I'll take ones like that. Or eight incher. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Nice little eight-inch bluegill here. Not bad at all. Nice male. I'll take them all day. So we got a bluegill and a warmouth so far. You got a bobber on yours? You need to put a bobber on yours because you're gonna get in those sticks like I did. Nice male bluegill. That's awesome. That's a nice one. Oh, he just peed. <laughs> it squirted out really bad. He's probably eight. If not, he's pretty dang close. It's a nice humphead one. Another male. Really tall, too. What a beauty. Wow, he was nice enough that I can use the same worm. I'm getting all decent ones today. Look at that. Look at this bluegill compared to the one you just caught. My God, if we had, I should have brought them. These would be good eating, I'm telling you. Them big orange males. All right, guys, I got a nine inch. No, he's eight. Eight inch bluegill again. Nice Nice mail. Oh, you're hung. <sighs> of course. 
right one. Man, he swallowed it too in a heartbeat. I set the hook as quick as I could. No way. I have to cut it. God, there is nothing I can use to get that. Good God. These are some nice bluegill though, guys. I give them that. But it's a shame when they're swallowing the hook like this. Big shame. All right, another eight incher. Take them all day. Get him? Yep. Maybe you'll get lucky and get a nine incher eventually. That is a nice one right there, guys. Woo. Third, we're getting eights. That's a nice bluegill right there. It's a real nice one for anywhere. Got one. Bluegill. Yep. Yeah. Uh, bluegill for Wilma. And I don't see how it's so hard to catch a carp or buffalo here. I guess because we don't fish the bottom enough. Where you just throw it out and let it set, but you need more than one pole to do it. <laughs> I finally hooked one. It's not the one I'm after. <laughs> it's right by the in the shade. Small male. Little pale male. Weird looking bluegill there. No, it's a female. That's why. Oh my God, it's a gigantic bluegill, like 10 or 15 in, uh, 10 or 11 incher. I'm not kidding you. No, it's gotta be a catfish. It's a cat. All right, finally. Oh, he just now started fighting. Right by the metal pole. I think they're just now starting to bite me because we've just seen two catfish. I thought it was a giant bluegill, but it, it's a buffalo. Yes, dip net. I'll bring him around. I'll bring him around to the other side. Or no. Yes, on a bobber. On a bobber. Nice. All right, guys, a fish worth mentioning, finally. I've never caught a buffalo on a bobber, but I just did. That's blind luck. See a small mouth, I think? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a small mouth. Or it might be a, it might be a black. Yeah, that's a small mouth. I'll be able to tell by the, it's a black. Yeah. All right, you're gonna have to take the camera from me. Which right now has something on the lens. Just quit fishing for a minute. <clears throat> Let me 
get him off with the pliers. First thing. He's not bad, he's four. He didn't even start fighting until I had him halfway in. And then I thought it was a cat. I thought it was a bluegill at first, guys. And uh, I actually was just talking about these a few minutes ago. I said, I said, I don't see how we don't ever get a carp or buffalo. Sure enough, our day's finally starting to get a little better here. Be careful on that. I know. If it's filled on, oh, you're yep, gonna get it anymore. De definitely a black. <laughs> it won't fall. All right, guys, about a, about a four pound black buffalo. Nice. It's either that or a small mouth. I get them very confused. It's a, it's most likely a small mouth actually by its color. Zoom. No. You need to? You sure? That's awful far away. Try to zoom a little bit. No. Come on. It's enough. Nice fish, guys. What a nice surprise. Been wanting one of these all year like this. All right. You sure it's, it's good looking? Yeah. Okay, I'm putting him back. It's a nice buffalo, isn't it? Hold that tail. Well, pr pretty good fight oh. there at the end. Oh man, hold on. You got a big one? I think so, yeah. Really? Okay. Let me get my hand washed. It's not a blue. It's definitely not a bluegill. You got a cat, probably, or a buffalo. Do I need the dip net? Nah. Nah. It ain't a dip netter. Hey, it's finally a decent catfish, though. It's finally starting to pay off a little bit here and there. I'll zoom in on you. I guess hold him up before you take him off. Cause I gotta change my battery soon. It could go dead any minute, so. Yeah, go ahead and hold it up then. All right, well, we got the first real catfish of the day. About a pound and a half. A little farm pond size channel, it's not bad. All right, yeah, a little longer. Okay, I'm gonna change my battery. Oh, it'd be nice if I could get a flathead though. Yeah, he swallowed it, and he'd swallowed it in no time. Big time. He's about another pound and a half. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting that. Oh man, no. <clears throat> I am not getting it. There's no way. Guys, I just caught two bluegill and two channel cats in a matter of a minute and a half from the same little spot. All right, not terrible. I kind of like them this size because they still got their spots. Hey, splashed me. You got big, you got a big cat. All right, Wilma's on something decent here. Yeah, he's bigger than the ones we've been getting anyway. He's a two pounder. <laughs> Oh, these catfish in here are erratic. Very erratic. <sighs> He's not bad. He is he? That was really big, whatever it was. <laughs> nice bluegill here, guys. Another eight incher for once. Oh yeah. Seem to get a lot more males than females in here too. That's kind of good though. Let me 
know if you need the net. If it's over two, if it's over three pounds, we'll use the net, but nah, don't need a net. At least we're getting the kind we came here for. <coughs> you don't need the net for him. You just, when you do that, you just risk getting the hook in the net. Use it for real fish. He's three, he's two. He's a two pounder. Not, not terrible. Not bad. I got one too. <laughs> Catfish. All right, guys, we are getting the desired species finally. They're just not the size we're after. Oh, I got a drum. Hey, it's a new kind. Boy, they're thick in this shade. No, I've caught them before. I caught one last year on the other side over there with a worm on the bottom. All right, guys. Sheep's head, also known as a drum. Sure. Not horrible sized. Give me a hook. Oh, uh, pliers. pliers. He's pretty decent. I'm going to zoom in on you holding it. He's a full two pounds there. That's the biggest one of the day, isn't it? Or at least close. The <clears throat> he's he might almost be three. Good job, honey. You finally got what we came for, at least close to the size we're after. <laughs> Alright, Wilma with the Best cat of the day so far. Okay. Yeah. More worth it. We just can't seem to get a channel over two pounds today. That's five. God. Mm. Whoa, about eight foot deep right here. <clears throat> Way deeper. It's like this on each side then. <clears throat> cat. All right, Wilma with cat number eight. On the better side, another two pounder. I just wish they'd hit a lure. You might be able to get it, but it don't look real promising. God. Corner, we ain't got much longer. It's 10 till 7. Got about 30 minutes. We can go. Another little one, but hey, yeah, these are like the county lake size this year. What happened? Maybe they, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Definitely ain't the ones like we were getting that jumped out of the air. Hey, gave me my worm and didn't swallow the hook, guys. All right. I 
think they robbed me. No, he's still pecking. Oh yeah, nice one. Finally. Maybe not. No, it's still small, but it's on the little better size. No, it's about the same. <laughs> we ended up catching 11 now. There's all like the Ripley County Lake. We could have went there instead. <laughs> now how come we can't get one flathead by blind luck? He's on the better side. See, when these are biting, you think they're bluegill because they just peck for a while. You just got to let them take it. All right, channel cat number 11, guys. There was another one right in front of it, right there. I got him in two foot of water right by the metal rail, right aside, right on the side of the metal rail thing. Metal beam, I mean. Now that's my best one of the day, I think. Oh, imagine that, he swallowed the hook. <laughs> Never fails. Gotta buy hooks every time I go fishing because they always swallow it. He's two, he's a full two pounds. Yeah, he's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it. 